What's going on YouTube? Ledger here once again, and this time we're doing something a little different here. We're doing a little something out of the blue because I'm telling you right now, guys, there's a few games that I do play that I don't really cover on the channel too much, and Weathering Waves is one of them. But let's not get it twisted. I like Weathering Waves, and I've been playing it for since like a couple weeks after launch, right? Um, since Yin Lin Banner, basically. And I've been sticking with it, and I plan on sticking with it for a while. And I am very excited for Camellia. And Camellia is coming out and looks like her showcase or her trailer is out. So what I want to do is I want to enjoy every second of this. And I know the algorithm's going to kind of beat my ass with this and not really, you know, show it to my audience too much. But I'm not going to worry about that too much because I just want to make sure I just want to for the people who do see it, I want to share the excitement with y'all and have it documented for me on my channel here, too. So despite whatever the algorithm tries to do with me, I don't know what's going to do. We're just going to try and enjoy this for what it is, because I can't wait for this character. So let's not waste too much time and let's get into it. La, 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 la. Like this? What about this? Hmm. Still looks off. Hmm. <sighs> I'm all out of ideas. You little runt. Hmm? Dare to cross us. You are, I'm gonna. Hey, what? <laughs> what if this is just the spark I've been dying for? <gasps> Who's this NPC guy? Not bad. You've got some skill. Why she why she attacking this man for? Spot in the black shores. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Wait, she just kill him? What a oh, she's about to. Next. Oh. So much power. Missing a few brain cells. Though. Ooh, that's dirty. Yeah, she's on the. Oh, a tactical fighter. <laughs> she's on a killing spree. Oh. Are you? You hate to see it. This just got interesting. Are you a problem? <laughs> oh, okay. She's doing something. Your skills seem passable. Also not. Yeah, enough. they they stepping up the, the um animation in these though. And the voice acting. A seed with so much potential. Yet oh. still not good enough. Wait. What's going on? Is this a shadow clone? Oh, she about to go into the red mode. Ooh. More. I can't help wanting more. Oh, oh, she's going sick. Dance like there's nothing left. Entertain me. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's getting a sequence for that one. Oh, beautiful. Oh, she's gonna kill her. Oh, jeez. She was good. I don't think she deserves to die, you know? But it's, it's, it's... Damn. Sayonara. Please. You shouldn't have shown fear. Oh. Boring. Not a single one of you is worthy. 
until Rover comes along. Is that you? Yes. The one always in my dreams. My seed of fate. Oh, they ended that abruptly with that little, little that little lick lip right there, the, the, the lip lick. But um, but yeah, ooh, that was an action pack. That's an action pack trailer right there. I like that. You know, that's that was actually kind of top notch. I got to say, that was one of their better ones. I mean, they know they had to show off for Camellia because they know this is who people are waiting. For. I do like how it kind of tells the story too. You know, a little bit, all the fight scenes and everything like that. I am I am hyped for this character and like. Camellia, to me, the reason why I'm so hyped for her is she seems like one of the more interesting characters um, in this game. Very Yandere, if you uh, if you will, you know. Uh, and I don't know, Yandere just, they just, they, they get me, you know, I like them. You know, you give me the Yandere type right there, then you, you got my money, you got, you, you got it right there. I am intrigued to see what goes on with her character uh, in the story itself too, you know, in the actual game. Because, you know, I'm hoping that she does stay interesting. I mean, I did, like, you know, the story with Shorekeeper was good and all. Like, it kind of teed a line with me of what I kind of, I don't, I don't really like shipping too much, like official canon shipping within the story. Shorekeeper was kind of like, kind of all over us a little bit towards the end. And that's okay, but like, it's kind of line stepping for me. So I hope that, sh that, um, that Camellia doesn't go too much down the same path, you know? Because one thing about Weatherway is that they do kind of glaze the MC a lot when it comes to this, which can be fine, of course, but as long as it's done in moderation, you know, there's got to be limits, of course. So I do hope that, like, she doesn't become too much of a simp for the for the, for the Rover there. Or, like, I mean, she couldn't like him and stuff as long as she just keeps those John Derry qualities nice and intact. But in terms of play style and how her moves look and everything like that, Gosh, Koro cooked with that. Koro cooked with her moveset. And that's why I need to make sure she's the most powerful DPS on my team. I'll tell you that right now. Right now, just she is immensely powerful. I need this girl to, to overpower her. Whatever I gotta do is gonna get done. Um, but yeah, what do you guys think? What do you guys think of this trailer here? Because me, I loved it. I loved it. I thought it was great. Then did a great showcase of her. Um, but let me know what you guys think. If and if, also let me know in the future if you want me to keep doing uh, Weather and Waves reactions um, to future characters that I'm interested in. So this is also kind of a test to see how YouTube kind of perceives me doing a uh, Weather and Waves reaction. So definitely let me know in the comments down below. Like the video if you do like the the um, content that I am giving you here, and of course subscribe to the channel so you can get more content like this. So with that in here, let you know.